First Perry County, now there's an emu on the loose in another part of the mid-state. This has been the talk of social media all over Cumberland and York counties. And who better to get us the details than ABC 27 chief emu correspondent <laughs> Seth Kaplan. He is back on the case. It was a total shock to me. Art Carr near Dillsburg didn't know this story until the story found him. I walked out of my door in the morning and I, I, I started seeing things. <laughs> and I'm like, that's an emu. And it was just wandering around my front yard. We get deer, you know, get occasional bear, turkeys, but never an emu. Yep. I took a few pictures. And this video. That was just so amazing. Up close, you can really tell they descended from dinosaurs. I kind of felt like I was walking into Jurassic Park. Apparently, he's been loose for uh, quite a few weeks. And he's from over near uh, Boiling Springs somewhere. He knew someone was probably looking for it. So I had this little yellow buggy. Because <laughs> they said, if you if you caught him to put him in a, in a pen and you know he'd, he'd be okay so i tried but emus are very fast he outrun my cart might there instead be some way to attract it well funny you ask that because you know uh at the time i didn't know apparently he likes grapes like this green ones work best and no they don't bite the hand that feeds them and no none of these emus from a nearby emu farm are the missing emu after all then it wouldn't be the missing emu would it some of them get loose and they can survive the winter. But this one had a close call in the summer. The scary part was he was on the train track over here. And the train comes down around the bend and it sees him. And the train lays on the horn. And I couldn't even watch. And right before the train hits him, he jumps off the tracks. In the, in the nick of time. The reason he couldn't watch? You know, I feel bad for the owners because, you know, I have animals and... You know, if I even think one's missing, I start freaking out. So I, I can't even imagine what they're going through, you know? There's precedence around here for happy reunions with long missing emus. Art Carr hopes history can repeat itself. In York County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.